What you guys, if you're looking for a cheap mini office PC, then this one is perfect. It is the Dell Optiplex 3050 Micro. Now, a lot of people are looking for mini PCs, but can't afford the expensive ones like 500 pound mini PCs. But this one is around about 80 pounds used. I got this one for around about 80 odd pounds on eBay. And you can see here, it's pretty much new. Uh, it's been listed and I picked it up just for a video to show you guys an alternative option for people that want to buy something small and not expensive. Now, there's loads of them out there. These are old office surplus PCs. Now, these come in a variety of options. This one has an HDMI port, a DP port, and also you can see a VGA port up there. And also we have four USB ports on the back, two are USB uh, 2.0, and we have also USB 3.2 uh, Gen 1s on here as well. We've got four of these on the actual device. So we've got plenty of USB ports on here. Uh, this doesn't rotate. Uh, the newer upgraded ones do rotate the Dell badge. We have our audio inputs here as well, completely upgradable and a really decent bit of kit. It's 65 watts total power on the power supply, which makes it nice. You can use this for Plex servers and you can use it for a bunch of other stuff here playing um, retro games if you want to it can handle those because it does have the i5 7500t on it this one comes with a brand new mouse keyboard and your power brick and your adapter and everything else so this was pretty much a new system now some of these don't come with the wi-fi antennas or the wi-fi uh, card inside them again this one has a wi-fi antenna all sealed and it also has the wi-fi card in here so these are the alternative ones from china and they're pretty small, uh, but a lot of people can't afford them. It does have a lot of functionality to them, and some of them are pretty powerful, but sometimes you get limited capability on the more cheaper variants of these little mini PCs you see me review on this channel. Some of them only have Celeron processors in them, whereas this does have the i5-7500T, which is quite a powerful uh, processor. I'll show you inside as well. It's very well designed, as you could expect from Dell, because they do make some of the best PCs in the world, in my opinion, at making them so crammed in a little space like this. It's very well compact, and it's completely upgradable, as you can see here. Super lightweight and super quiet when you're using it, so you hardly hear anything in here. And this does look like it's hardly been used, if at all, because there's no dirt or dust or anything like that in the fan. So it seems to me that they've probably uh, set this one up and never actually used it. I know that because the drive has been changed. You normally get a Dell drive in here, but this one does have an integral uh, drive in here. So it has been uh, changed and it's probably been imaged and never used. So let's take a look inside here. You can just remove this clip here. This gives you access to the drive. So you can change this. If this was a mechanical drive on the one you purchase, you can either leave it in there and it will give you extra storage, maybe put a terabyte drive in there, some people do, or you can put a SSD in there just like this one. I will be swapping this out for a larger drive, this is only 120 gig. If you want to see me upgrade this little mini PC, let me know in the comments section. I'll be doing my best to make that video for you because I think it will be an interesting video for people to see how you upgrade it. Pretty straightforward stuff, but again, some people like to see that sort of uh, content. So this is the drive we've got inside here. What I'm going to do is uh, put this to one side and you can see we do have a Wi-Fi card in here. Now this Wi-Fi card is very useful for people that want to get Wi-Fi connectivity. Sometimes these don't come with Wi-Fi cards in them and you're going to have to source that. So if that's a real big deal breaker for you, make sure that it does have a Wi-Fi card in here and make sure it does have the antenna cables on there and the antenna with the actual kit because these can cost extra to add in. We also have an NVMe slot in here as well, which I'm going to be upgrading to in the near future. Now, these Wi-Fi cards can be added and they can be upgraded. This is the uh, uh, Wi-Fi 5, which is your 802.11ac version, which is quite a powerful Wi-Fi card. Inside here, we can put an NVMe drive in here, and this will probably accept a two terabyte in here or maybe a terabyte. I need to check the specifications but it will definitely take a one terabyte inside here. Now, some of these do have their own mounting system, but you can use a mounting screw inside there. Inside here, we just push these clips and take off the uh, super brand new uh, cooling system here. And again, this is uh, made of plastic and a fan in here. And we have a massive big heat sink under here 
And there we, there we have our Kingston RAM inside here. I'll also upgrade this to uh, 16 gigs. I have managed to source another Kingston matching pair uh, RAM stick for this one. So I'll have 16 gigs of RAM in here. I can upgrade it to 64 gigs of RAM on this little mini uh, micro PC, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, we've got plenty of good upgradability here. The GPU on this one, if you're wondering, is the uh, graphics 630, which isn't too shabby uh, for retro gaming. So you could use it for that. And I'll be using this for my Plex server plugged into my NAS rather than using my NAS for it. This is much more powerful. So I'll be using this as well. So I'll do an upgrading video of this uh, little micro PC. But that's basically your micro PC there. Very, very affordable. You can pick these up cheap. Just make sure you get a nice looking one if you can. Do your research. Be patient and don't overpay. Look for ones that are in very good nick. Some of these can be a bit bashed about. If you're not worried about any of that stuff, then by all means, just pick one up. Got this big uh, heat sink under here. This is our GPU here. And um, we've got some good... Uh, now, there's many different variants of these. Uh, this is just the uh, 3050 version. And again, uh, you can look for the 3050 versions. They do have different specs on them and different ports on the back. This is the i5-7500T version. They do uh, an i5-6500 version, I think, or 6200 version. And there's not much difference between the two processors in performance. But again, just whatever ones you can pick up. So the Geekbench is 806 on a single core and 2,576 on the multi-core. And we have 4,499 on the OpenGL score here for Geekbench. So not a, not a shabby sort of uh, micro PC. It's a pretty decent little machine. So let's take a look at some retro uh, gameplay here. I'm going to be putting this on Vulcan here. Uh, this is for PSP. And we'll take a look at a few games so you can get a general idea of what it can actually do. I'm not trying to find out what the max settings are here. I'm just going to give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing here. So Virtual Sync will be on. And I'll put the 60 hertz on here because that's what's on the uh, machine here on the monitor I'm using. And again, I'll put in here the upscale level. Turn this on. And I'll probably put this on times two or something like that. That'll be fine. And I'll leave the rest here. I'll leave the... Um, the rest of the settings as they are i'll configure the uh, controller and then we'll have a little go and see how these uh, play out um so yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to handle these pretty good there you go no problem at all so if this is what you're buying one of these for then you don't need to spend 500 pound on a little mini pc to do something like this you can buy something like this for pretty reasonable prices on ebay and again this will play it no problem at all here and I'm pretty sure it can go higher than what I'm doing here, but just gives you an idea of what these little mini PCs are capable of. It does have an i5 processor on here with four cores and four threads, so completely capable of running Plex as well. And remember, these were designed for offices, so this will run 4K content, be able to stream 4K content down, and uh, be able to do all that sort of stuff as well. And again, you'll be able to do Photoshop on here because it's an i5 processor, 7th gen it should be able to handle that no problem at all and uh, you could do some uh, video editing on here as well no problems with this little mini pc so it is a very capable mini pc at very affordable prices yes it's a 7th gen which means theoretically you can't actually install uh, you know windows 11 on it but there's nothing to say that you couldn't put it on on there as unsupported hardware but these are PSP games, and uh, they're playing on here no problem at all. You can play some other ones if you wish. I was just giving you an example of what this little machine can actually do. Anyway, that is the, the Dell Optiplex 3050. There's plenty of other models out there as well that are in this micro series. And uh, it's a pretty powerful little mini PC. So if you're looking for a mini PC on a budget, and you don't want to spend an absolute fortune... Uh, then give some of these a look. If you want some other options available, then let me know in the comments section below if you like this content, and I'll be happy to buy these little mini PCs and show you them and show you what they can do so you get an idea of which one to choose. And again, there's plenty to choose from out there because these are old office uh, surplus um, uh, mini, mini PCs or micro PCs, which are, you know, to a penny nowadays. So let me know and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. I just want to say a really big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out to Casso Time, 
Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Euston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and thanks for that support. I really do appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified when we upload new videos. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.